I am going to show you how to create Tally Out app in Android Studio exactly like this. Hello guys and welcome to Master Android channel. We will continue the complete Android developer course and we will learn how to create a Tally Out in Android Studio. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any daily uploads. If you have any questions, projects, suggestions, tutorials you want us to make, please comment it below. So let's start creating our tab layout app. Now, at, if we go to Android Studio and start a new project, an empty project, I will name it as tab app. So the package name will remain the same if you want whatever you need and uh, the language java and everything is good I'm waiting to for android studio to configure it's bold now let's go to main activity here we go Now the layout of the main activity, we open it, remove the text view, and let's search for tab layout, and we click, we drag and drop it, and the operation requires the library material would to be added. Would you like press OK? So adding the component inside our Gradle build. We will later uh, in this course learn how to configure and, and work with the Gradle scripts and the Gradle uh, library dependencies. <clears throat> now, here we go. This is a sample of the, the tab layout. We are configuring the constraints of this uh, widget, this widget and it's constraint and now let's jump to the text tab of the main activity and let's add an ID and edit the text of the tab layouts we have created So, I'm adding the ID and the tab chats and the text I'm editing it to chats. Now, also configuring the, the tab, the second tab to be as status tab status and the third one would be the tab calls now uh, let's let's see how uh, why we are doing this we are assigning at the, uh, an ids for each tab so we have three tabs we are assigning and uh, for each tab uh, the ID and changing the text for them under this tab layout we are going to add a view pager this view will allow us to swipe le swipe left or right though the Android tab layout tab uh, layout tabs using finger gestures so why we are making this if uh, the big example or um, uh, an a uh, real example uh, example for this is uh, like uh, whatsapp so whatsapp application used the view pager so you can go to uh, contacts status and uh, calls by swiping left or right the same way we are making the same uh, application here making 
a view pager under the tab layout so we are defining now its uh, height and width and we are going to add some constraint uh, some constraints to configure this uh, view pager and adding uh, an id for this view pager so what i'm doing now i am just making a view pager under the tab layout we have created before so the, this view pager will display the content of the tab selected above and this view pager remember as the previous videos you can go and revi uh, review the uh, and revise the view pager lesson if you want these lessons uh, written in your uh, inside your application inside your uh, phone or tablet please go to master android the application and download it on available for uh, for download in play store and over uh, over uh, 900,000 users uh, use this and we help with millions of people to learn android so if you have any questions any comments any suggestions any tutorials you want you need us to make just comment below on our channel on youtube channel and uh, uh, and uh, rate us five stars on udemy to uh, push uh, us and make new tutorials now let's define in this in the main activity the tab layout here we go in this way we can initialize and declare the tab layout I'm going to initialize the tab layout as you see and I'm going to initialize the tab items the three tab items we have created tab chats tab status and tab calls and I'm going to initialize finally the view pager so in this way we are initializing them and instantiating them <clears throat> Later on in this uh, next uh, minute, we are going to create a page adapter, a class that handles or extends the fragment pager adapter. Till now, we are going very good. We have created a view pager and we have created a tab layout. Now we are initializing them in the main activity and everything is working fine. Okay, we have finished initializing. Now go to the folder and create a new Java class and name it as pager adapter. Okay, we are going to create a, a constructor for the pager adapter. But first, we are going to extend the uh, the fragment pager adapter and add the implement the methods, the get item and the get count methods. Now, the get item is where you will initialize the fragments for Android tab layout. In this tab layout example, you have three Android fragments: chat, status, and calls. Now let's create a, the constructor. The page adapter constructor is used to communicate between this class and the main activity. I'm passing fragment manager fm as its arguments. And the get count method will return the number of tabs that will appear in the Android tab layout. Now let's create a new fragments. Now it's t it's time to create the fragments inside our app. So first of all, we have created a blank a fragment. It is called the the chats. It's for a chats fragment or fragment number one or chat number whatever you need to rename it. 
and uh, remember to uncheck the boxes of including the methods as I have created before uh, if you don't uh, notice that we are going to create uh, to make it this step uh, two time two more times now let's edit the fragment chat layout I will remove this text view I will include a new text view because it is a frame layout we can't uh, make it constrained only by converting it to constraint layout but uh, till now we are using the uh, sum of uh, of uh, variables and some of attributes available to be edited here I'm changing the background and change to red and increasing the size of the text view change its color now let's create another fragment here we go I uncheck the include interface callbacks and unclude the fragments factory methods these uh, options we are not uh, uh, we are not going to use till now I'm uh, unchecking them and I've created a status fragment now states fragment removing the text and making a uh, drag and drop another text <coughs> So this text will define or identify uh, that this is the fragment called status. Changing, changing the background and the text size and the text color. In the same way, change the colors. Okay, let's create the last fragment and ensuring that we didn't include the fragment factory methods and we didn't include the interface callbacks and our fragments called call fragment. <clears throat> okay, I'm removing the text view. And here we go. I'm just making a new text called the call call fragment. and changing the text color and changing the background and the text color as we have created before fragments okay till now we have uh, done by making uh, fragments uh, layouts now we have we need to create uh, just an adapter and pay uh, and uh, and add some uh, integers and adding some uh, variables so I've created the private and a number of tabs and I'm going to uh, to uh, like assign this number of tabs equal number of tabs just passing the argument uh, uh, for the constructor and I want to pass the integer or create an argument number of tabs number of tabs and here we go and now I'm going to to create a switch cases so the when the user click the first one the chat fragment will be 
uh, displayed so I'm using a if switch call a number uh, or uh, integer having integer a uh, position as its variable now case number one return new fr chat fragment this means that when the user click or the fragment number one uh, fragment number one or uh, tab number one the chat fragment will be displayed now case number two or sorry number one uh, as an in integer return new status fragment <clears throat> Now uh, let's create the third case, case number two, or uh, or having value number two for the position, return new call fragment, and a default return null. Okay, here we go. We have done by the pager uh, adapter class. Just making some okay, removing the null, and I want to re to return number of tabs as the get count, so it will return the number three tabs. Now on the main activity. We are going to add some codes and define the pager adapter. So the pager adapter will ad will uh, pass the data from the the tabs and display them into the view pager. So a view pager will conduct and uh, allow and passing two arguments. Android get support fragment uh, manager method and the total number of tabs in Android tab layout tab layout dot get tab count okay till now everything is good just adding just adding the last step uh, the view pager assigning the view pager uh, to the to its adapter. Uh, just uh, we need to uh, view pager dot set adapter as we have seen or had seen before in uh, in many advanced views like uh, view pager uh, recycler view and uh, card view. Uh, guys, if you want to uh, us to make new tutorials uh, and make new lessons inside this course and make more apps please uh, subscribe to our channel. Now let's run and see our results. Uh, one last st step uh, is missing. I need to change the, the tabs uh, view uh, when the user click uh, the tabs. <clears throat> I'm just, uh, I uh, was uh, talking about uh, uh, if you want us to make new tutorials, please subscribe below uh, to our channel and uh, hit like in YouTube. And if you are on the other me, please rate us five stars. So we have we are uh, we are going to uh, add every day a lesson to our course. Now we are adding on tab selected listener, or listener, which is the listener for the tab layout to add clicks uh, for them to make uh, to make an action so on tab selected the view pager will set the current item tab to get position so in this case we are done let's save and run our app and see the results oh amazing this is our app chats fragments states fragment and calls fragment amazing guys thank you i hope you uh, benefit from our lessons thank you subscribe below hit like rate us five stars on udemy download master and android from play store